Well, Democrats are potentially in danger of losing control of the U.S. Senate come November. One of the seats they most hope to win is in Massachusetts, and their hopes are pinned on Harvard professor Elizabeth Warren. Folks on both sides of the aisle today, however, questioning the competence of Warren's Senate campaign after it was revealed that Warren listed herself as a Native American while at Harvard. Critics argue that she tried to use, quote, minority status to her advantage. Warren denies it and says she is just proud of her Native American heritage. I still have a picture on my mantle at home, and it's a picture my mother had before that, a picture of my grandfather. And my Aunt B has walked by that picture at least a thousand times, remarked that, he, that her father, my papa, had high cheekbones like all of the Indians do, because that's how she saw it. And she said, and your mother got those same great cheekbones, and I didn't. She thought this was the bad deal she had gotten in life. Being Native American has been part of my story, I guess, since the day I was born. It's part of her story because her great, great, great grandma, a woman identified as Sarah Smith, may have been Cherokee. Joining me now to discuss it, Tucker Carlson of The Daily Caller and a Fox News contributor, and Jamu Green, also a Fox News contributor and former president of the Women's Media Center. I mean, come on, can, can we just have a laugh at this? I mean, Jamu, let me ask you, because you're a Democrat. My papa, <laughs> because a great, great, great grandma, Sarah, she gets to check the box that she's Native American. Well, I mean, yes, you can have a laugh at it, though, Megan, but the reality is that actually the current chief of the Cherokee Nation, Bill John Baker, he himself is only 3% Cherokee, which is, you know, 132nd in the same uh, fraction that we're looking at Elizabeth Warren. credentials. It seems Warren's like he's living more of the Native American lifestyle than Elizabeth Warren, though. Am I wrong? Well, she clearly grew up in Oklahoma, uh, which has very strong ties to the Native American community, uh, which is much different, though, than Massachusetts, where you're seeing a lot of political commentators finding it easy to make TP jokes. But I think what, at the end of the day, this is adding up to, you see Scott Brown really questioning her about her qualifications because he understands he has to appeal to white male working class voters who feel marginalized because of affirmative action. But this smells real stank to women who do not like being called on their qualifications. It's like someone saying to you, Megan, hey, you know, did you take get an advantage to become an anchor? And, and that message, I think, will backfire yeah. on Scott Brown. You did, you, I, I checked a lot of boxes to get into Albany Law School, Tucker. That was, it was the Harvard of Albany. I just want you to know that. Uh, <laughs> and so when they said, are you white? I said, yes. And they said, are you a woman? I said, yes. And, and they let Done. me right in. Done. <laughs> well, let me just say that well, I listen, flew come over on. I, the thing last is, week. here's the issue. Larry Sabato, Tucker, right. you tell me. Larry Sabato came out and said this is this is a problem for her. It's taken her biography in a bizarre dimension. It's derailed her effort to define herself in a voter-friendly way. And he says this is a quote from Larry, nonpartisan guy. This is what happens when candidates don't tell the truth. Well, let me let me just say a couple things. One, having an, an, a great grandparent who may or may not have been Native American is not great, a qualification. Great, great. Being 132nd some racial group is not a qualification, okay? It's an accident of history. It's something over which you had no control and for which in a just society you would not be rewarded. And so this is an amusing story. Obviously her campaign's blowing up over this. She's lying. Her remark about, oh, I, all Indians have high cheekbones. You know, I also like feathers. I mean, it's so <laughs> offensive and dumb. But leaving that aside, it does it provide a window into a system that is fundamentally corrupt, that rewards people based on their DNA, which is inherently unfair. It was unfair when it happened under segregation, and it's unfair now. Indeed, it's indefensible, and that's why she doesn't want to talk about this, because she did gain material advantage by lying about her ethnic background, and but no one should gain Tucker, advantage because of his Harvard ethnic background, had, Harvard has been very clear that she did not gain any material no, advantage. No, it has not been clear. And at the end of the day, she won the teaching uh, award at Harvard two years in a row, she won teaching, teaching awards at the University of Pennsylvania, at the University of Michigan, at the University of Houston. To right. question this woman on her qualifications <laughs> is going to be something that does appeal to, to, to folks like you, voters like you, bow tie and white okay. boys. But at the end of the day, it is going hey, to hey, back hey. You, 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 fire no, for, wait. against oh, women oh, well, who you do not, a, wait. who will be absolutely against questioning right. this right. woman Look, who can, has. All right, let him respond. To, uh, Jim, right. Go ahead, Tucker. Uh, you, you, you can use name calling all you like. 
but you're ignoring the truth, as you know, I didn't call which your is name. Harvard, Harvard does award material advantaged people based on their skin color. As you know, Harvard bragged about the fact that she was, quote, a minority professor. She's in no sense a minority. She didn't grow up speaking an Indian language on a reservation, immersed in Indian culture. She couldn't name the tribe that her so-called ancestor was a member of when first asked. She's not American Indian. She posed as one, and Harvard, by its own admission, gives advantage to people who claim to be minority. So That's not Tucker, one right winger's opinion. That's a fact. That the only reason that she was hired I'm not at saying Harvard that. is I'm because not of the box that she checked. Of course, I'm not, and not saying that. I don't know that to be true. Because of the incredible teaching credentials that she oh, well, won, Jamu, top Jamu. 50 female lawyers in the country from the National Law Journal, on that score, top on that 40 score, lawyers in the in, last Jamu, decade. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. On that score, there were questions raised about that. Not because she's a woman, Jammu, but because we're looking at her qualifications based on what she said. She she came from Rutgers. Uh, it's a fine it's a fine university, but n most of the faculty at Harvard Law School didn't go to Rutgers. All right, so there was a question about whether she did use this alleged minority status to get into this elite university as a law school professor. Harvard says no. They say no, but they did use it, Jamu. They said, they touted when they were under fire for not hiring enough minorities, look at Elizabeth Warren. She's a Native American. That is not how she got the job. How do you know? You don't know how she got the job. So, okay, so Harvard says one you thing, but you're going this. to wait, wait, let, let you in a completely Tucker, different and then way. Go. Harvard's been very clear that it, this is not why she got the job. She got the job because she came in as a rock star teacher from all of these other institutions, from being listed numerous years back to back about being the top, one of the top female attorneys in the nation. And again, mm -hmm. you're, you're going you're gonna to go down the road, Tucker. You don't want to with women I'm who not, I'm do not, not accept any road and I'm not their running qualifications for office. I'm telling being the truth. I'm not spouting talking points from like a you double are. Standard and the, all right, standpoint. let him answer. Whatever. Tucker, go ahead. Look, here's the bottom line. I have no idea why Elizabeth Warren was hired. I, I do know this, that Harvard does award weight to people's ethnic background. A. B. They bragged about her ethnic background. American Indian. The whole thing. I mean, so I'm not saying she's not a great teacher. Perhaps she is. I will say she's not very good at explaining herself when asked simple, direct questions about her behavior. We just saw that on tape. That's so the mistake. I, not, That's the one mistake I, she what, made. What I'm saying is she's Harvard a shouldn't be novice, awarding points. But at the Hold end of the day, the diversity point, that she the brings to the look, conversation is probably a good thing. I'm just stating the thing. obvious, Jamu. You want to shout me down. You want to call me names. I'm saying something that's very obvious. It's in front of our faces. That a system that awards benefits based on people's bloodline is unfair. It's wrong, and it should stop. That's all I'm saying. And, and Jamu, I'll give you the last word, but I, I, the, uh, along the lines of Sabato, this is not a, this is not a partisan guy. He's from the University of Virginia. He says it's, quote, pretty obvious that she was using the minority listing for career advancement. He talks about, I mean, you know, you, he says it's obvious she wasn't telling the truth. We've had people on both sides. Joe Trippi came out and said this, they were not ready for this. They should have anticipated this issue. The, the, the problem is, do, do, we lo do you lose credibility when you can't look at this and say, all right, it's clear that this is not somebody who should have been checking the Native American box? I think clearly the campaign's reaction and the fact that we're still talking about this days in uh, is problematic. But I think it's also problematic that similar to what we saw with Martha Coakley uh, in the previous senatorial race in Massachusetts, that these female candidates are, are held to a completely different standard. Yeah, she messed up the answer. Okay, let's get past it. But I think, again, you continue to question this woman on her credentials, that is going to pay more dividends when women go out and, and stand by her and say, don't ask me about my qualifications when I'm as qualified, if not more qualified, than my opponent, who, I don't know, his qualifications come from posing nude in a, a magazine? Well, she's already raised this issue. This is where she's going to take it, because she says if we're going to ask questions about qualifications, maybe the appropriate person to ask those questions of is Scott Brown. What does he think it takes for a woman to be qualified, and he has said God. this has nothing to do with that. It has to do with you know her it's misrepresenting. It's okay, pathetic. guys. Thank you both, uh, Tucker, Jamu. Thanks. Thank you. We're still taking your thoughts on it. We set the Twitter world afire yesterday on this issue. Let's set it ablaze once again. Follow me at Megan Kelly. Let me know what you think. We'll talk about it.